Welcome to this online tutorial on portion sizes. We'll review recommended portion sizes for the major food groups. When you're done with this clip, please take a moment to leave a comment and tell us what you learned. So let's get started. Portion sizes have increased over the last few decades, exceeding USDA dietary guidelines more and more. Large portion sizes lead to a higher energy intake, so it goes without saying that smaller portion sizes are critical for weight management. You need to know appropriate portion sizes for each food group when advising patients. So let's take a look at the recommendations for adults. Most women need 6 ounce equivalents of grains and men need about 7 to 8 ounces. Here you'll see a table of 1 ounce equivalents. So having a piece of toast in the morning for breakfast, a sandwich with 2 slices of bread for lunch, half of an English muffin for a snack, and only half a cup of cooked pasta or rice for dinner would be an appropriate amount of grains per day. Remember, this tutorial is a short version of our fully interactive program online where you can explore this topic and much more. Now if we take a look at vegetables, we'll see that women need two and a half cups and men need three cups of vegetables per day. Take note that one cup of cooked greens does equal one cup of vegetables, but you actually need two cups of raw greens to get what counts as one cup of vegetables. And what about fruits? Women need one and a half to two cups per day and men need two cups. Take a look at the table for examples of one cup equivalents. Pause and ask yourself, are you getting at least that much each day? Let's take a look at dairy. The portion size recommendations for both men and women are three cups. So what exactly is one cup of dairy? The answer, one cup of milk, yogurt, or frozen yogurt, also two cups of cottage cheese, two ounces of processed cheese, or 1.5 ounces of natural cheese would also give you one cup of dairy. Make sure to choose low-fat or fat-free versions of dairy in order to avoid the excess calories. Next, protein. Most women have 5-ounce equivalents and men around 6. We see that 1-ounce equivalents are equal to 1 ounce of meat, poultry or fish, 1 fourth cup of cooked dry beans, 1 egg, or 1 tablespoon of peanut butter. Finally, let's take a quick look at oils. The daily target is 5 teaspoons of oil for women and 6 teaspoons for men. Getting enough is usually not a problem within the typical American diet, and recommendations should not be exceeded because a single tablespoon of oil or solid fat actually contains about 120 calories. Before we conclude our tutorial, take a look at some counseling tips to help patients visualize common quantities. Instead of talking about one cup, you can say that the amount is equal to the size of a baseball or a woman's fist. Talking about half a cup, the comparable quantity is a woman's rounded handful or a tennis ball. A quarter cup is about the same amount as a large egg or a golf ball. Three ounces of meat is about the size of a deck of cards. And finally, one ounce of cheese is about a cube with one inch sides or four stacked dice. Make sure to visit our website to download a handout that you can give to patients on these counseling tips. Again, this is a short version of our fully interactive program online. This concludes our tutorial on portion sizes. For further information and more educational modules, go to our website at www.nutritionandmedicine.org. It only takes a couple of minutes, and then you can register for free access to any of our online educational materials. Thanks for listening, and check back for more tutorials in the near future.